Okay, so you look at your tank and you see what you think is white snot all over your new driftwood. What in the world is going on? Which fish sneezed and put that stuff all over that wood? Is, is the tank crashing? What in the world is going on? Okay, so you've got white slime looking stuff on your new wood, your botanicals, or you know, maybe off of a rock or an ornament that you put in your tank. What is it? It looks slimy, gooey nastiness. Well, what this is, is uh, commonly referred to as biofilm. And don't panic. Almost every Aquarius that's familiar with it says biofilm is a good thing. Um, basically, biofilm is a matrix of bacteria. So, you've got bacteria in your tank. And we're familiar with the bacteria that we want to grow for the nitrogen cycle that grows in your filter and on surface areas and, and they'll stick to all the surface area for uh, eating your ammonia and, and all that. Not all bacteria can adhere themselves to a surface area. Um, only a, a percentage of them can. So, what happens is bacteria will gather on your new driftwood that you put in there because there's a lot of uh, new nutrients and stuff where you put that new driftwood in, in your aquarium. And we're using driftwood as an example because it's easy for me to say. And uh, so the bacteria will gather on the driftwood and start um, processing some of the nutrients that are there. And they will excrete a, a substance that's kind of like a glue. But it, it's a sugar base. And uh, it, it's kind of like sounding the party alarm that, the, hey, there's food over here. So other bacteria that are in the water column and, and in the tank that can't really stick to stuff, they don't have the good graspers to grab onto things, um, they come over to where the party is because they heard the announcement of the party. And uh, the first bacteria that arrived that are on the surface uh, eating on the nutrients and, and letting off the sticky sugar, um, the other bacteria that show up they're able to, to get into that sticky sugar, the, the glue-like substance, and hang on. So they get on there and they, they're sticking to the other bacteria and eating the nutrients and they produce more slime, more sugary glue. More bacteria come and gather on and that's that's what you see on the biofilm is is a gathering of bacteria having a party and uh, putting off a sugary slime that's kind of like a glue to hold other bacteria in. And they're just kind of like a big mosh pit, all, all the bacteria hanging out and just grooving in your tank. And uh, so why is this a good thing? Well, I kind of said that there was a sugary slime. And a lot of stuff like sugar, not just the little kids, not just the big kids. Um, a lot of shrimp and plecos and, and, and a little catfish and other fish and stuff would love to pick at the, the biofilm, the sugary slime there and, and nibble on it and it's a great food source for them.
And even if you don't have a shrimp or a fish or something that will eat on that, that biofilm, it will work itself out after a little while when uh, the bacteria eats up the new nutrients that were put on, on the driftwood. They'll start to dissipate and, you know, when the food runs out, the party's over. And everybody goes home. And it's kind of the same way with, with the bacteria world. Um, but when you do grow the biofilm, it can be on leaves or pods or uh, gravel or driftwood. It's, it's usually on, on some sort of botanicals. Um, you can grow biofilm on the surface. It's not really the same that we're talking about here. Um, what we're looking for it will be on uh, botanicals, uh, the leaves, the pods, the, the cones, the driftwood, that type of stuff um, because of the uh, new nutrients added to the aquarium uh, that attract the bacteria. Um, it might be unsightly for some of us and you can't you can remove it if you like you can take it out and scrub it you can reboil your wood um, that type of stuff to try to knock some of those excess nutrients and bacteria off the the uh, the driftwood but like I said the fish and the shrimps and snails and and all that will love to eat it um, so that's a benefit for you um, it'll go away in time if you don't have anything eating it as well could it be bad? Yes, but that's not something that most of us have to worry about because in order for uh, the biofilm to be bad, you would have to have so much of it and your tank parameters would have to be off at just the right level that the bacteria production in your um, biofilm would be at such a point that the amount of oxygen that they would use would be more oxygen than what was in the water column and it would not make enough oxygen for your fish. That's where it gets confusing and there's such a small chance that would ever happen to any of your all's aquariums that, you know, there's no point in even going into it any deeper. Basically, biofilm, for the most part, is, is a good thing. Most everybody agrees biofilm is great food for shrimp, for snails, for fish, for all that. Um, it's a great little treat for them, the sugary goodness, uh, of the uh, bacteria party. Um, so what's your thoughts on biofilm? Have you ever put some botanicals, a piece of driftwood, something into your aquarium, and you had that white, gluey, snotty, slime-looking stuff uh, appear on it? Uh, did you panic? Did you jerk it back out thinking you was poisoning your fish? Um, did the fish love to eat it? Did the shrimp love to eat it? Um, what's your experiences with biofilm? What's your thoughts? Maybe you think I'm completely wrong. Let me know. There's a comment section down there in, in the bottom there. Uh, what's what's up with biofilm? What do you think about it? And uh, tell me if I'm wrong. Um, if you like this type of video talking about fish and aquariums and that kind of stuff, I do other um, other videos about fish and aquariums and don't miss out hit the subscription button if you haven't already and uh, that way you can see stuff I, other stuff I do and the notification bell beside of it there will uh, tell you when I put stuff out but if you did like what, I, what I've done here um, this type of video hit the thumbs up if you didn't hit the thumbs down and let me know what I could do different what you were interested in seeing um, and until next time, we'll see you.